I'm going to use OWL 9.5b to explain the relationship between acid strength and the equilibrium constant of an acid. In particular, I'm going to click on this assignment here. Before I get into answering the questions, I want to remind you of some important information about equilibrium constants. In general, the equilibrium constant is denoted by a K and equals the concentration of the products divided by the concentration of the reactants. Now here's a weak acid, a reaction for a general weak acid, where the hydrogen ion here is given to the water to form H3O plus, and a, and a minus is simply the rest of the molecule. And it's written as the H3O plus ion concentration times the A minus concentration divided by the, uh, the concentration of the acid molecule. Again, water is not included in the equilibrium constant. So I want you to think about the relationship uh, between the numerator and the denominator and the value of the fraction. The larger the numerator, the larger the value of the fraction, therefore the larger the Ka value. The opposite is true. The larger the denominator, the larger the Ha, the smaller the value of the constant, therefore the smaller the Ka. So let's think about how this relates to acid strength. If the acid dissociates a lot, in other words it produces a lot of H3O+, that would be indicative of a strong or a stronger acid. So the numerator would be quite large relative to an acid that does not dissociate very much, where it would not produce a lot of H3O+. So the larger the numerator, the more production of H3O+. Therefore, the stronger the acid, therefore, the larger the value of the fraction, therefore, the larger the equilibrium constant. So let's see what the questions have to ask. The acid with the smallest value of Ka is, well, we have two choices. Here's the acid column. And so the acid strength increases. Well, from what we just said, this acid here would have a larger equilibrium constant. The smallest value of Ka would be HSO3 minus. The acid with the smallest value of pKa now, I encourage you to dig into the log exercises and remind yourself of what pKa is, and that's simply the, the negative log of the Ka. Now, what ends up happening is the trend is actually opposite because of the negative log function. So the stronger acid gets the smaller pKa. So let's try one more. The acid with the largest value of Ka is, well, HNO2 is a stronger acid than HClO, so the larger Ka is going to be associated with HNO2, so click on B. The acid with the lowest H3O plus concentration in a 0.1 molar solution of the acid. Well, that would be the weaker of the two acids, so that would be this one here. 